Good morning, it's February 1st, 2010. I think you should look in the upper part of the glass and look at those two rows of charred, well actually they're they're orange like flames. Two lines of them on this top log. I just put this log in uh, maybe five minutes ago. And what is happening is the flames from the secondary combustion system are coming straight down and burning holes in the top of that log. What I've done is install a very different system from what I had previously installed. Excuse the noise while I'm moving my bench. Basically what I did was I took out the uh, round air tubes and built a rectangular steel box. And basically there are one, two, three, four, five, six rows of of holes, same spacing, about an inch apart, three sixteenths in diameter, and there are two rows on each side of it and two rows on the bottom of it. The air is brought in through the back of the stove and the fire's been going oh approximately one hour. But this stove is really hot already and when I close the draft, let's see what happens. particularly on the sides you see the side flames coming out now the ones on the top of the log are starting to pick up but I think it's fairly dramatic that uh, additional rows of flames are making for a hotter stove and a cleaner burn right from the very beginning there was hardly any smoke uh, I'm used to seeing considerable amounts of smoke for the first 40 to 45 minutes. But for some reason in this configuration, the smoke was just being consumed by the secondaries. And I'll, I'll try to get a look at the, uh, the right side. The very active flames up there on the underside of the baffle. The baffle is similar to what I had installed before. It's right above this this steel box basically. I just opened it up again. It always takes a minute for it to begin to take off once you open it up. I can take a view right inside the draft area here. But I decided to push this one step further. The two air tubes were working really well. No matter how I formed them, no matter how I shaped them. But I decided to try something that had a greater volume of hot air inside the stove. Hot air which was available for these tubes in the secondary combustion. And I think it's making a big difference. The two logs I just recently put in were the tree was just cut down last week not even seven days ago and it didn't make any difference in the in the smoke from the chimney Th this fire is so hot that it just vaporized that immediately <clears throat> and what I'm seeing is white a lot of white inside the stove not just the black of the charcoal but uh, the upper surface on this particular log in the center is is bark and it just turns it white I'm going to find my little gun and take some readings on the stove the barrel just below the baffle is only about 700 degrees but the combustor housing this this fluted part on top is in the mid 700s that's very hot for this piece the same across the front the top cooking surface is in the 690s 
and in the very low 400s on the first section of stovepipe. The hottest part is usually right here. That's about 900 degrees. The top of the barrel right beyond the Vermont iron letters is about 900 degrees. Now we're seeing the flames coming back, the flames on the bottom of the box, the steel box, coming straight down to the log. It changes. For some reason, how close the logs are has a big difference on it. Uh, giving it some time to burn. The flames dance around. It's, it's very interesting to watch the stove. But I'm particularly impressed with all the flames, the secondary flames. Oftentimes, previously, I wouldn't get as many secondaries as I liked unless I closed it down. And in this situation, even burning it wide open, you can see those two, two rows of flames right in the center. That's all to report today. I hope you enjoyed this. Thank you for watching.